Thank you. Give it up, give it up for Cedo. Good job, Cedo. Good job. This mic is full of spit. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna perform like this. <laughs> What's up? What's up? <laughs> no, no. Yeah, before I continue, Megan, I have a message for you. I might not I might not know you that well, but you'll never be the president of the United States of America. I know. Yeah, because you're female and you've got an email, you're forwarding emails, so <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's good to be here, man. You know, um, I, I, I went back home, home being Africa. I went back to Africa for for spring break, you know, for the first time in a very long time. And um, home was interesting. I, I loved home, but man, I'm never going back to Africa. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you guys, you know, you watch a lot of bullshit on CNN and BBC about how bad Africa is. <laughs> Those channels don't do enough justice to how bad it is. It's worse than what you see, man. It's pretty shitty down there, man, to be honest. Uh, let me tell you, because I'm saying that because I like walking at night, you know. I like, especially in Japan, because it's very safe. And when I walk at night, I can see all of you guys, and you cannot see me. <laughs> I just have to be naked and shut my mouth. <laughs> yeah, so Africa is not safe, it's true, man. If the Africans in the, in the building come challenge me, come challenge me, you know. I mean, uh, I, I, it's not safe to walk in the streets at night in Africa. It's not also safe to be in your house at night. <laughs> I learned the hard way because my second night in Kenya, I come from Kenya, um, my house was broken into, you know, robbers came in, but um, I'm very glad, I'm very lucky they didn't do a lot of harm, you know. They just made away the, with my new Nike sneakers and killed my uncle. That was it. <laughs> I didn't like the, the process, the police process, you know, I, because my mom insisted that we go to the police and... Um, uh, because she knew the price of my sneakers. So. <laughs> yeah, so we had to go to the police, man. I hated it, but you know, but I miss Tokyo. I miss Tokyo a lot because Japanese people, Japanese people are very friendly, you know. Um, we have a new show, by the way. We do a lot of shows, to, uh, Stand Up Tokyo. There's a new show in Ropongi I was going to. It's a monthly show, and on my way to Ropongi, Sadly or unfortunately, I slept on the train, you know. But for some reason, when the train stopped at Ropongi, a Japanese guy woke me up. <laughs> I didn't know why. I was like, hey, why did you wake me up? She was like, oh, I'm sorry, but all the black people get off me. <laughs> I was so confused, it is true, but again, I was just like, you know, I didn't know whether to thank him or to tell him, fuck you, you know. So I was like, arigato gozaimasu. Yeah, 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 but I travel, I travel a lot doing comedy, guys. If you don't know by there, I'm a big deal. I'm, yeah. yeah, I have a Facebook page that has a lot of likes. Right now it's 27. You know. yeah. Evans Musoka Comedy, please, guys, go and like it, you know. I want to hit 30 before tonight. Okay? Yeah, so I travel a lot, and um, uh, last year I went to Malaysia, and I, I did a show, a, a series of shows in Malaysia, and... My time in Malaysia was pretty good, you know. I enjoyed being around people that really confused me, you know. Like, in Malaysia, Malaysia is this part of different cultures and people from different backgrounds. And, for example, we have Chinese Malaysian, we have the locals called the Malays. But we have this other race of people. They are Indians, but they are darker than me. <laughs> You know, this was confusing, you know? Like, look at my friend Vinay there, he's in there. Just imagine him being darker than me. I mean, I felt so confused, and at the same time I felt that it wasn't fair, you know? 
He said that you are Indian or you're black, you know, you can't be good at mathematics and have a big dick at the same time. <laughs> But I, I had a good time. I had a wonderful time, and uh, um, yeah, going back to to Africa, I, I, I spend a lot of time with my mom, and um, I, I tried not to because she she is really pressurizing me to get married. You know, I'm 29 years old now. You know, and she was like, "Oh, are you honey? Uh, did I make you honey? Yes, are no. you are you married? No. Yes. Oh. No. no. Yes. No. <laughs> are you married? No. Yes. No." <laughs> I'll, leave no. it there. I'll take it from there after the okay. show. <laughs> yeah, so my my mom is really worried about me because all my siblings are, are married now and she was like, Evans, please, you need to get married. But I'll advise you, if you want to get married, come back to Africa and marry an African woman. And I was like, Mom, but I like them yellow. <laughs> she was like, No, 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 no. You know, my mom doesn't believe in interracial marriage, you know? She was like, no, 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 no. You need to marry an African girl because if an American, for example, marries a Japanese, if an American marries a Japanese woman, that's not a marriage, that's an English school. <laughs> you know? if, a, if, if, if a French marries an Italian, that's not a marriage, that's a fancy dinner. <laughs> And if an American marries an African, that's not a marriage. That's a United Nations relief program. Yeah. Have a good night, guys. <laughs>